Hello, this is Tiffany from Tiffany's Beauty Trends, and today I'm working with Wet n Wild Gothographic Spring with a Holograph Edge. This is the box, and it had a number of items. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into this pink highlighter. Very pretty, I think you'll see the skull in just a moment. I think you can probably see it. Anyway, this has a lot of shimmer. Hey, Mommy. Hopefully this summer I can get up the nerve to go ahead and do it. But, so I'm just putting this pink and I think it is making some shine. I'll try it down the nose. See if it works there. Up here. Okay, so I'm gonna finish with that and um, I'm gonna do my brows off camera and Then I'll be back to do the eye makeup Okay, I'm back. I got those um, lids primed now. I'm going to try this bluish purple and I'm trying to apply it under the crease. There's not a whole lot of product on the doe foot, so I just tried to shake it so I could get more. Okay. That seems okay. Now I'll try to get the other side. Yeah, I need to build that up. It's still really. Really light. Okay. Sorry about my nail polish. I had them all done, not professionally myself, and housework, nails don't last unless they're professional when you do housework. Oh, that one actually brought a lot in. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can get this even now. I did go past my crease, which was something I didn't want to do, but if that's where the color comes out, is when you use a bit of force to get the color off the stick. And then that's where I'm at. No apologies necessary. You guys know me. I do goofy eyes, but I am trying to improve I got some underneath there, I don't know how. Okay, these seem fairly equal. Um, I'm not sure if they're dry yet. Just trying to do like a little bit of a fade. So when I put the gray on, the one that's a death to unicorns, I will be able to, yeah, like the other time, this doesn't appear to have very much on it. I mean, because I want to go right about here with that, and I can barely see it. Okay. 
Okay. Let's see here. I hope you guys know that I'm very committed to doing the best job I can. Sometimes I see where it could be improved upon after the fact, but I just ask that you allow me to explore makeup and see what kind of outcome I can get from that makeup just kind of a personal journey in getting a good look, one that is solid and you would want to be seen in. I mean, if you don't want to be seen, that's a mess right there. Okay, so I have a little bit of both now. It just, uh, I don't know. Do I want to try the black color? If I could get some out, I would love to. Okay. Yeah, here's something that's going to make a difference. Okay. I'll put this on and move this around. I don't like the amount that came out at the very hind end of this. So I'm gonna wipe that off. Make sure I don't have too many right there as well. I use um, washcloths all the time when I'm doing makeup. It's just a good way to easily guide things off. Now, if I could just do this with the doe foot, it would look really good. Okay, let me see. Okay. Just saw a little piece right there. It didn't look so hot. Just kind of go a little bit out here. Okay. Then I think this is really too dark right here. Okay. I think if I put a little more blue right in the center. Okay, let's see if we can just pat, pat, pat this. Okay. Okay, so. I'm just kind of hand fixing it, seeing if I can get a little bit of that um, excess off. Okay, so this is what we have today. 
I don't think it turned out bad. However, I feel like this makeup line is very light. It doesn't apply well. I mean, it doesn't not apply well. It doesn't have the look that it's been put on. It looks so watered down. And I'm just not a fan. Not a fan of watered down. So, am I in love with this look? No. In fact, I'm going to go in for another hit right here. And see if I can do it right here. Okay, let's see here. Okay, so basically, by the doe foot, I'm making a line of does to unicorns. I do find that to be one of the funniest names I've ever heard. <laughs> it's just hilarious. I like unicorns. I mean, I know they're not real. If you feel different, comment below. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take a little break and get a sip of water and get ready for the next part. Hello, I'm back. I did use the wall, uh, the white color, which is skull powder and i applied it on the top and bottom and i did a marginal job i cannot do a wing it's hard to make it look white when you have hairs all over because it gets in the hairs but aside from that my griping i will get out my mascara that i chose for today which is, ugh, it is CoverGirl Plumpify Best Pro. This is the one that has the vacuum cleaner looking brush. Okay, go back in. I can still see a little of the white, so it's not completely unnoticeable. Okay, I'm gonna go off camera to do the bottom lashes. This one is just so light. So this is the best you're gonna see, unfortunately. Okay. Looks like I got mascara in my hair. I think I did. Okay, so I'm gonna go for now. I'm gonna get my hair dried and I'm gonna have a great day. Thank you for watching. I love you all so much. You really make my day when you comment. And um, I would like to say hi to Sharon Yu. And um, let's see, I'm trying to think. I had some new subscribers. H hello, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And it is the highest form of compliment you can give a YouTuber is a subscription. Have a great day, bye.